Good morning, your Fitness First community. Hope you're all okay this morning. Um, today we are gonna do a cardio workout. This is gonna help improve your heart, lungs, and everything. Uh, your cardiovascular system, really help improve it to push you along, and make you feel fitter, and make you feel healthier, give you more energy, and um, improve your life no end. So it's more of a continuous workout this morning. Um, it's gonna be longer moves but slower moves so we're not doing full on running on the spot stuff like that it's slow continuous steady moves for almost a minute and then swap into another exercise we're going to do eight exercises um, then we'll have a 45 second rest and we're going to do three rounds so it's more of a slow steady one but again it's for the cardiovascular system um, to help improve those heart lungs capacity and make you feel great grab yourself some water you're going to need it um, again, it's all in your own time, at your own pace. Morning, if you're joining me live. Lovely to see you here this, uh, this morning. Um, like I say it's a cardiovascular workout, so it's it's a continuous, it's like going for a jog. It's just going for a nice, steady jog, but it's got to be different moves. So it's a bit more interesting than going for a, a run. I don't like running. Um, some people do, some people don't. But yeah, we're going to start with a little warm up. Um, I've got my Tabata set up. It's going to be 25 minutes long, so it's a good workout. Um, but like I say, it's slow and steady, um, and it's about building that heart strength, it's about losing weight, toning up the whole body, the legs, everything. So we're going to start in a minute, about 30 seconds, we'll start with a little warm up, and then we'll get into the main section. Like I say, with eight exercises, three rounds, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, um, and those 10 seconds will just be me showing you the next exercise. So it's going to be continuous work, but you rest when you need to. Um, Right, so make sure, like I say, got water. Let's get marching on the spot. Let's get warming up. We don't need much of a warm up today. Just going to be a nice little warm up, stretching up legs out. Just making a few deep breaths. Open up the lungs. Really get the heart going. Um, it's a great workout. This one really is good for improving that cardiovascular system. We're just going to step back. Nice little step back. We're not lunging. We're just step back. All this is going to be some characteristics of the moves that we're going to do. So everything in the warm up is going to be similar to what we're going to do in the main workout. A few differences. And that's it. Stretching back out. A little bit of high knees now. So a bit slower. And just touching one side to the other. And that rotation in. That's it. Just warming up the body. Nice and gentle. Nice and steady. One more either side. And then back mark to the spot. I'm just going to do some heel kicks. So kicking up the heel, either side, warming those quads up, and then we're just going to push and pull. This is going to be one of the exercises in there. Again, like I say, it's nice and steady, so you do it all in your own time, at your own pace. Nice and steady, warming up. And go up overhead, just warming up over planes. That's it. Deep breaths, keep breathing at all times. And good work. I'm just going to go down for a little squat and roll those shoulders as we come up. So not a full squat, because we're just going to, in this one we're just going to do a little squat, so we're going to do half a squat. It is, it's 50 seconds doing all those squats, will be a lot on the legs. That's it. Last few. Oh, good work. One more. And good work. Back to march on the squat. Right, we're going to get into it. So the first exercise is going to be a box step. So you step forward one leg, forward the other leg, back that leg, back, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back. I'm just going to add some arms in there. As we're doing it, hold the core in and go like that. So we're going to go in 10 seconds. It's a bit of coordination one, but it's a really good one to get that cardio up and get the heart going. So we're going to go in five seconds. So box steps with the roller arms. So forward, forward, back, back, roller arms, that's it. Just moving nice and steady. Like I say, it's a cardio workout this. It's not fast and furious. It's building up that heart strength, it's building up the lungs, and it's helping you tone up and lose weight. So it is a good all around workout for the whole body, inside and out. 
Okay, keep breathing. Keep working. That's it. Step forward, backwards. Forwards, forwards, backwards, backwards, forwards, forwards, backwards, backwards. That's it. Keep going. We're almost there. 10 seconds. And it's you against you, so you go at your own pace. All in your own time, at your own pace. Good work. And rest. So rest is just marching on the spot. We're just going to do this one. Knee up now. So nice and steady. We're not going mad. But just one knee up at a time to the opposite elbow. Nice and steady. Again, go one, two. Keep working. Keep pushing. So all in your own time. You need to shake those legs off at any time. Shake them off. It's not a problem. It's you against you. Again, keep that core engaged. Twisting that body ever so slightly. It's just the first round, so let you wake up a little bit more first. Well, that's it, just twisting up, lifting those knees up. Yeah, doesn't feel much at the moment, but when you get to the end of this three rounds, this will definitely, you'll be feeling it. That's it. Slow and steady wins the race. I mean, you just start jogging, you don't go off. When you're running, you don't start sprinting off. You take it slow and steady. This is what we're doing, we're building up the cardiovascular system. We're building up strength, we're building up endurance, making you feel better. And stop. Next one, we're back to the push and pull. So we're going to do 25 seconds push and pull, and 25 seconds overhead. The heel kicks. And let's go. So one side to the other, heel kicks, push and pull forward. What am I doing, Ricky, first? <laughs> Don't even know what I'm doing. That's it. So pushing forward and pulling back the elbows. Again, all in your own time, at your own pace. That's it. Deep breaths, keep breathing. That's it. If you've got some music, get some music on. I can't do it, otherwise Facebook will turn it off. Let's go up now, pushing the arms up. Yeah, Facebook will stop me, any sound or anything. I need to get a music license, really. But as I'm doing all this for free, that costs money. <laughs> but I will get one soon. That's it, keep going. Keep working. Three seconds, two, one. And good work. The next one is a skiing motion. So we're just gonna ski, stepping back. This is from the side. Continuous motion. Three, two, one, let's go. So arms come up to a bicep curl and tricep get back while the legs step back. So nice, again, steady motion. All in your own time, that's it. Just keep working, that's all we ask. Keep working that body. Keep moving that body. That's it, it's already working cardio zone I minutes mean, it's on me. It's increasing my daily steps. So it's a good workout, this is. I say me, my heart rate's going up to the cardio zone, which is just where we want it. We're working, we're improving that heart rate. We're gonna lower that, just make that heart stronger, better condition. Almost there, five seconds. And rest, that's it, shake those legs off. Brilliant, good work, we're halfway through the first round, four exercises to go. We'll do a little squat and upright row. So it's half a squat, so from the side, let's go. Squat, upright row. Nice little squat, it's not a full squat. Call it a dip, that's all I call it. That's it. So from the side, and up, bringing the arms up in front. So we're just using the shoulders and bringing the shoulders into it. Good work. Keep breathing as you go down, breathe in, and breathe out on the way up. Keep that oxygen flowing to your body. That's it. A little lot, a little dip, and an upright row. That's it, we're almost there. We've got three exercises to go on this first round. 10 seconds. Good work, keep pushing yourself. Keep working, keep moving. And one, good work. The next one is a body weight swing. So our legs slightly off bent, back straight, and we're just coming up, hinging at the hips. We're not moving the legs, legs stay in the same position, we're just hinging at the hips. So it's like a kettlebell swing. That's it. Nice and steady. Again, we're not fasting out like this. We're not going too slow, just steady. Slow and steady wins a race. Come on, that's it. Keep your legs in the same position so it burns legs. It's hinging at the hips. That's it. Arms coming just up in front of you. 
just so you can see under your hands and then go back out. That's it, good work. Really tough one this one. Hinging that body, get the core engaged. Really working the full body here. Good work. Well done. Five seconds to go. We've got two exercises to go. And rest again. Shake those legs off. The next one we've got a knee up and a kick out. Knee up, kick out. The opposite legs. So you do a double move. Knee up, kick out. Swap legs, knee up, kick out. Swap legs, knee up, kick out. That's it. All in your own time, at your own pace. You can get confused with this one. So knee up <laughs> and kick out. Knee up and kick out. Good work. Knee up, kick out. Knee up, kick out. Knee up, kick out. That's it. Good work. Kicking out nice and gentle though. Like I say, it's all in your own time, at your own pace. Kick. Kick. That's it. Knee up and kick. You need to stop at your time. We're almost there though. Last five seconds. Some time fly when you're having fun. And rest. Good work. The last one. It's so nice and simple. We're jogging on the spot. And we're punching out. So this one you can do walking or you can do jogging. As long as you're moving. I'm just going to do a nice little jog, punch you out in front of me, nice and steady. This is the last one on the first round, and then we've got 45 seconds rest. And I'm going to do it all again. Let's do it, come on. 30 seconds to go. You can have a little jog, do it now. Like I say from the side, you're just punching out. Just jogging, lie down your toes. Just finishing off strong with the foot. First round, good work. 15 seconds, we're almost there. Good work, keep going. Fantastic stuff. Five, four, three, two, and one. 45 seconds worth of rest. Good work, one round down. Well done, if you're joining me live, fantastic. Hope you enjoyed that first round. We're gonna do it two more rounds. Shake those legs off. Get the blood flowing back to the body. We're in 30 seconds. Starting with the box steps and the roller arms. Again, like I say, it's continuous movement. This is, but it's improving your cardio. My heart rate's up to 120, which is in a cardio zone. Um, and I've increased my steps by over a thousand on that first round. So it's a really good workout. We're in five seconds. Three. Two, one, box steps are forward, forward, back, back, arms rolling, continuous. Try and improve your speed this round if you can. If you've got a little bit more in the tank, go for it. If you haven't, just keep it steady. You can go for it on the last round if you've got a little bit more then. That's it. Good work. Just continuous movements. That's all it is. It's great for a cardio workout. Really is. Keep the core engaged. You're working the whole body. That's it. 20 seconds to go. We're on the second round. Come on. Let's do it. Good work. Box steps. Forward, forward, back, back. Roll our arms. Boom. Come on. Five seconds. Almost there. Two. One. And good work. So this time again we're doing knee up. Opposite arm. Add a little bit more twist in it. Hold that core if you can. Really twist a bit more. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Go on. Moving from side to side, working that full body. Crunching, so like a standing crunch. Working your legs, getting them as high as possible. Really working, but all in your own time, at your own pace. Deep breaths, don't forget to breathe. Keep working. Well, keep going. 20 seconds. Almost there. Go on. Good work. Go on. Keep pushing. Last 10 seconds. Go on. You can finish. Let's finish strong. Good. So it's in the hip flexors. This is burning, I know. But it's great for the legs. And rest. 
straight those legs up. We're doing a heel kick and push and pull, and then we'll swap to up overhead. We're going in three, two, one. Like I said, it's a continuous workout. If you need longer, at any time to rest, you can pause the video. You can just have a miss one exercise out. There's no shame in it, I promise you. Just jump back on it as soon as you're ready. That's it. Good work. Like I say, increasing your step count, your heart rate's working, your legs are working, your arms are working, and if you're holding that core in, and a pop up head, if you're holding that core in, then you're working your core as well. Good work, everybody. I almost forgot to put the arms overhead then. <laughs> no kicks, arms up and over. It's the third exercise on the second round. We're going back to the ski one next after this. And rest. Shake those legs off. That's it. I'm moving from the ski one, so step back, arms going up and down as if you're skiing along. And let's go. From the side, as if you're skiing. If you've ever been skiing, you know exactly what I'm on about. I've never been skiing, but I got it. That's it. It's a bit of coordination. Bicep curl and step back. Again, all in your own time, at your own pace. Hold the core in, work the full body at all times. Keep breathing. Fantastic work. Good stuff. Let's keep going. 15 seconds, go on. Let's keep working. 10 seconds. Almost there. Keep going. Halfway through the first second round. First round. I went back in time. I don't want to do that. <laughs> go on. And well done. Good work. We're back to a little bit. An upright row. So a nice little semi squat. An upright row. Let's go. Like I say, it's continuous this. Really getting the heart rate up. You'll be getting a bit sweaty now. Warming that body fully up. Keep breathing now. Keep getting that oxygen into your body. Lifting those arms up, squatting down. Like I say, at any point you want to shake those legs off, just stop and shake them off. It will be starting to hurt soon. If they're not, you're not doing it properly. <laughs> Why are you joking? If you're here, you've turned up, you're doing the workout, you're doing it. That's all that matters. Good work. Go on, keep pushing. 10 seconds. We're back to the body weight swing after this, so it's like a kettlebell swing. One, and rest. Shake those legs off. Shake the arms. Again, legs slightly off lock. Bum out, back straight. Moving the arms in and out. Swinging. So you're swinging, it's like a pivot on the hip. That's it. Your power from the arms, from the hips, and the legs. Again, all in your own time, at your own pace. You can go faster, you can go slower. Just taking it steady. Slow and steady wins the race. We're improving that cardio again. So that's all that matters. 25 seconds left. That's it, we've got two exercises left after this. And that's the end of the second round. It goes fast and furious. This round might seem a lot when you say it, but it doesn't when you're doing it. It's a really good 25 minute. It's like going on a 25 minute jog, this is really continuous work. Two, one, and good work, well done. We're doing the knee up and kick. So knee up and kick. We're going three, two, one. Two exercises left. Knee up, kick. Boom. Like I say, it's continuous. It's non-stop. Hold that core in. Work those legs. I know they're probably burning by now. Mine are. We can keep going. My coordination is going. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh. That's it. Up and kick. Up and kick. Knee up and kick out. Knee up. Kick out, 20 seconds left. Go on. Knee up, kick out. Knee up, kick out. Go on, keep going, 10 seconds. Keep creeping forward, yeah. Keep closer and closer to the camera. And go, three seconds. Yes, 
let's get back away from there. Right, we've got the last one, we're walking and punching, or you can jog and punch on a start. We're going in three, two, one. This is the end of round two coming up. We've got 45 seconds worth of rest after this. So we're jogging and we're punching out. 45 seconds after this, and then we're on to the last round. We're almost there. We've got just over nine minutes left of work. Keep pushing, keep working. Go on. That's it, two against you. If you're gonna walk here, walk. It's entirely, just keep moving. Keep that body going. You can have a little jog. Do a little jog, you've got 20 seconds left. Go on. Keep breathing. Keep working that body, hold that core in. Moving those arms in and out. That's it. Good work. Great work. Almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And great work. Shake those legs off. We've got 45 seconds rest. Have a little drink. Two rounds down, one round to go. Come on. Let's finish strong. Keep those legs moving. Shake them off. Take some deep breaths. Like I say, that is improving my cardio. I've done over 2,000 steps now, and my heart rate's over 130 almost. So it does work. It's working the body. It's getting those steps up. By the end of this, we've done over 3,000 steps. We're going in five seconds. Box steps for the last time. This is the final round. Come on. Box steps, roll our arms. So forward, forward, back, back. Roll our arms. Like a roller disco. Boom. You can even go down when you're coming forward and coming back up at a different dimension to it. That's it. That's it. Keep moving. Speed it up now if you can. If you've got a little bit left in the tank, try and go a little bit faster. If you haven't, doesn't matter. Just keep going. Keep moving. That's it. Forward, forward, back, back. Roll this go. Come on. That's why you need some music on. Or well, just like a window like me, just going backwards and forwards and rolling your arms around. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <clears throat> Keep working. Five seconds left. We're almost there. And increase the energy this last round. Let's increase the energy. So we're doing knee up and twist. So boom, boom. Let's do it. Last round. Let's try and do it as fast as you can. I'm going to increase my energy. Let's do it. See if you can boost your arm. Go on. Knee, twist. Go as fast as you can though. You don't have to keep up with me. It's a competition with you, not me. That's it. I'm just trying to increase my energy to see if you boost your energy. Let's go. 30 seconds, go on. Even if you can give it in short bursts. Do a little bit, slow down a little bit, and then go again a little bit faster. That's all you have to do. Go on. That way you start running. You run for 30 seconds, you walk for 30 seconds, you run for 30 seconds, continuously, for half an hour, and then you build up over time. That's exactly what this is. We're almost there, five seconds. Boom. Three, two, one, good effort. We're doing a heel kick, push and pull. And after 25 seconds, we're going up. We're going in 30 seconds. Again, let's try and increase that energy if you can. Let's go, push and pull. Working, go on. Side to side, pushing forward, pulling back. Really engage that core, working that body. Sweat's pouring down now. This is a great workout, this is fantastic. Like I say, if you've got a little bit left, we're on the last round. Push yourself. Never ending improvements. Go on. You want to be 1% better than you were yesterday. And if you're turning up for this workout, that's exactly what you are. 1% better. Brilliant. Keep going. By the end of the year, that's 365% better than you were at the beginning of the year. At the start. That's a hell of an improvement in life. Let's go. I've got to go upwards. Oh well. Talking too much. <laughs> Three. Two, one. <laughs> Stop talking so much, Ricky. Now we're doing a ski motion again. So stepping back, arms coming forward into a bicep curl. Three, two, one. Oh, sweat's going in my eyes now, it's stinging. That salt, stinging in your eyes. Good work. Again, keep working that body. Hold the core in, work the legs. Full body, 
incorporate the full body to this workout and you will feel the benefits, I promise you. Like I say, if you've got a little bit left in the tank, let's do it. There's 25 seconds of this little exercise left. Then we're halfway through the final round. We've got just over four minutes left of work. Come on, let's finish strong. Four minutes is nothing. Roger Bannister run a mile in four minutes in 1950-something. <coughs> and I never thought that could be broken. That was broken by many, many people. Still being broken today. Come on, three, two, one. Let's go. We're doing a dip and up right row. So down, up right row. Let's do it. Last round. Four exercises to go. Come on. Let's finish strong. And up and down. Dip and up. That's it. Like you're pumping on a big pump. That's it. Nice steady motion. If you can speed it up, do it. If you can't, just keep moving. Keep working. So this is all over. Full body cardio workout. Good work. But it's also you against you. That's it. Keep going. Well done. Keep working. 20 seconds left. We're almost there. Last little bit. Speed it up if you can. Up and down. We'll keep that core engaged. Go on. Last 10 seconds. And we've got the body weight swings after this. Two. One. Good work. So we're in the body weight swings in position. Keeping the legs. We're just pivoting at the hips. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So pivot, pivot, pivot and swing. That's it. Good work. Core engaged. Again, if you can go a little bit faster, let's do it. Keep up. Or try and go a little bit faster if you can. Keep breathing. We've got three exercises to go. Come on. Let's finish strong. Just over two and a half minutes. Let's do it. Come on. Keep working. It's burning, I know. The legs are burning. Your hip flexors are burning. But you're feeling great after this, I promise you. Not straight away, maybe, but you will do in half an hour or so when you've just recovered. <laughs> Go on, keep going. Six seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Knee up and kick. Two more exercises to go. Come on, so knee up and kick out. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Last two exercises. Come on. Up and kick. Up and kick. Up and kick. As fast as you can. Or as steady as you can. It's up to you. The last two exercises. If you've got something left in the tank, let's use it. Let's leave it all here. You've turned up for the workout. Let's finish it strong. Go on. You want to improve yourself, this is why you're going to improve yourself every day. Working out, doing something, getting out walking, doing one of these workouts three times a week. It's a fantastic way to improve yourself. Good work. Keep going, 10 seconds. Good work, go on. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. I don't know why I keep creeping forward onto that one. A bit too close. And the last one, we're doing the walking or the jogging. Last exercise, 50 seconds, come on. Let's finish off, and let's go. And if you go a little bit left, go a little bit faster. I'm gonna push it a little bit faster. A bit of a fast jog. I'm not sprinting, just a fast jog. We've got 50 seconds of work. I've got sweat drawing, pouring down my face. My core's engaged, my arms are working, my legs are working. Come on, 30 seconds to go. You've got a little bit more action, go on, put it in, we're almost done, we're almost there, keep breathing, 20 seconds, come on, let's do it, good work, 15, come on, almost, keep going, 10 seconds, last little bit, come on, like a crazy man, or a crazy woman, come on, let's do it, 3, 2, 1, oh, well done. Wow, what a fantastic workout that was. My heart rate was up to 140 then, 145. Hope you're okay, hope you're still with me, still alive. Hope you enjoyed that. Grab yourself a quick drink. Slow that breathing down. Keep walking on the spot. 
like I say, and I've done over 3,000 steps. So that is a great workout to improve all over physical health, building strength, toning up, losing weight. Fantastic. Mike, if you like me, I've even got a sweat on. The good work. Right, so we're just going to cool down. Just going to move these legs nice and slowly, side to side. Just rocking the arms, getting the blood flowing back to the body. We're almost done. Do a lot of stretches on the arms and legs, and then we'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your day. Like I say, if you join me live, thank you for joining me live. Hope you enjoyed the workout. If you're catching up in the replay, again, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you benefited you. So we're just going to pull the arm across just to stretch the shoulders, pushing the fleshy part of the arm. So the triceps and the biceps are. Turn your head to the side, and then just take a few slow, deep breaths. Really slow that breathing down. And swap over. This is where you just get the blood flowing back, you get your oxygen back into your body. Really important part of the workout is cool down, just as important as a warm up. Give those muscles time to get the blood flowing back. Good work. That's it, just have a little roll of the neck. Back the other way. Good work. You need to hold on to anything, grab on something which is going to stretch the quads. So pull the quads through, push the knees together, and pull back on the hip flexor. You feel a nice stretch down the quads. Again, keep that breathing down. Take some deep breaths. Fantastic workout. I really do hope that didn't benefit you. It didn't benefit you, it did benefit you. <laughs> it's too early for this. No, it's not, it's too, never too early. Good work. Hope it really did benefit you. Hope you got a lot from it. I hope you enjoyed it. Stretch to the side. Again, a few deep breaths. Good work. We're just going to stretch the hamstrings off. So bend, bend this leg. Lean over, keeping the back straight, bum sticking out, flex your foot back towards you and reach down as far as you can. If it's only your shin, until you feel tension, take a few deep breaths and go a little bit further each time. Nice stretch with the back of the calf, into the hamstrings, into your lower back. Really is a good stretch there. Last side, we're almost done. Fantastic work. That has taken us just over half an hour. So that's not much, is it, to every morning to just improve your physical and mental and uh, whole body health. It's fantastic. It's really is a good workout. So again, second side, just gonna finish off. Oh, good work, everybody. Again, thank you for joining me live. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a good day and I'll see you all soon. I've got a live workshop tomorrow night. We're doing a bit of motivation and another little bit on um, three powerful steps to overcome or to stop panic attacks in their tracks. So if you're suffering from anxiety and you get panic attacks, this is a fantastic one for you. Um, and again, a little bit on motivation to keep you going um, and really get you into this groove of working out all the time and pushing, your, pushing yourself. When you don't feel like it, when you're going dark in the morning, the, the, it's dark outside, you're getting up early and you're like, ah, I don't want to do it, but you do the five second rule, you count to five in your head and you just get up and get out. That's what you do. So we'll go a bit of a deeper into that on Thursday. Again, thank you very much for joining my life. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you catch up in the replay, again, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day, everybody. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.